Our top story this half hour questions are swirling this morning following the eighth house hearing on the violent and deadly insurrection. We heard brand new testimony in the primetime hearing last evening and since it wrapped up after many of you went to bed, we're going to walk you through the big moments. The main focus, what was going on in the White House as the mob stormed the Capitol? Matt Gregory joins us now with the major revelations from the January 6th committee. Morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, throughout the committee hearings, we've heard what led up to the riot, then what happened at the Capitol. But last night, we got a look into what former President Donald Trump was doing while the violence unfolded, or perhaps more fittingly, what he wasn't doing. Three hours. That's the amount of time it took from this speech by then President Trump to this Twitter video. So go home. We love you. You're very special. Thursday night, former aides told the January 6th committee while President Trump's supporters fought police and stormed the Capitol, the president just watched from the White House. If the president had wanted to make a statement um, and address the American people, he could have been on camera almost instantly. Former officials told the committee during that time, President Trump ignored multiple pleas to call off his supporters. Secret Service that were protecting Vice President Mike Pence at the time started to fear for their own lives. There were calls to um, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. But nothing was done until more than 180 minutes had passed. A day later, President Trump recorded a video denouncing the violence at the Capitol, but outtakes shown by the committee revealed him struggling with the script. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, okay? So this is the last hearing for the summer, but the committee's vice chair, Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney, said there may be future hearings as new witnesses and new evidence continues to come forward, she pointed out. All right. Um, it's hard to um, imagine what people who thought that this insurrection was something other than what a lot of other people thought it was in the insurrection. It's hard to know if any minds or hearts were changed. I wonder mm. what that looks like. Yeah, we've done a lot of reporting on it and all the national outlets have as well, but yeah. you're right. It is difficult to gauge where the actual middle of the country's interest is right, in the right. uh, yeah. committee hearings. And I guess we'll see that going forward, especially as we get through the final primaries for the states. All right, Matt, thanks. Our team, of course, is dedicated to covering the Capitol riot investigation. Just point your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen right now to sign up for our Capitol breach newsletter. We'll email you updates every week and when news breaks. Right now.